in, uh, in 1986, I had uh, uh, written uh, a book in which I had said uh, that the way to deal with uh, terrorist uh, regimes, well, with terror, was to deal with the terrorist regimes. And the way to deal with the terrorist regimes, among other things, was to uh, apply military force against them. To the we have two threats. One of them, uh, you're quite right, uh, we focus on is beyond the horizon in the form of these rogue regimes like Iraq or Iran that are feverishly arming themselves with uh, uh, ballistic weapon uh, missiles or uh, uh, unconventional weapons, biological or atomic warheads, which are trying to secure. And that is a grave danger for the entire world. There's no question about that. And I've been trying to alert the world to that danger. And I've been trying to alert the world to that danger. Obviously, we'd like to see a regime change, at least I would, in Iran, just as I would like to see in Iraq. The question now is a practical question. What is the best place to proceed? It's not a question of whether Iraq's regime should be taken out, but when should it be taken out? It's not a question of whether you'd like to see a regime change in Iran, but how to achieve it. And every indication we have is that he is uh, pursuing, pursuing with uh, abandon, pursuing with every uh, ounce of effort the uh, establishment of, uh, uh, of uh, map weapons of mass destruction, including nuclear weapons. This is why I joined the Marine Corps. Uh, do you have any new evidence of Iraq's uh, weapon capabilities, uh, nuclear capabilities? I, I cannot give you um, uh, even an oblique uh, reference to uh, information in the last three years because I'm, uh, well, because I'm busy uh, going around the world visiting Washington. I'm not, oh, we appreciate uh, you being I'm not prying into uh, uh, privileged dossiers. Uh. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> I was like, I got to have died and did like this. And um, if God loved me so much, I, I, do I just have things? Nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> How callous. He has hundreds of thousands of men and women on the front line in, and in Baghdad in general fighting because of some fictional weapon of mass destruction that he decided to walk around the Oval Office and fake kind of Zeke with the BMP. That was a shaming moment for me. If you take out Saddam, Saddam's regime, I guarantee you that it will have enormous positive reverberations on the region. That's why we've been in the Middle East for 15 years and we haven't won anything. We've spent $5 trillion in the Middle East because of thinking like that. Obviously, it was a mistake. So George Bush made a mistake. We so, can make mistakes, but that one was a beauty. We should have never been in Iraq. We have destabilized right. the Middle East. But so you, so I mean, it's, you, so you still think he should be impeached? I think it's my turn, isn't it? You do whatever you want. You call it whatever you want. I want to tell you, they lied. Okay. They said there were weapons of mass destruction. There were none, and they knew there were none. There were no weapons of mass right. destruction. Okay. Go, all right. We're determined to prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons. We leave all options on the table, and containment is definitely not an option. The Jewish state will not allow those who seek our destruction to possess the means to achieve that goal. A nuclear-armed Iran must be stopped. If it looks like a duck, if it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, then what is it? What is it? That's right. It's a duck, but this duck is a nuclear duck. And it's time the world started calling a duck a duck. Today we have a state of our own. And the purpose of the Jewish state is to defend Jewish lives and to secure the Jewish future. A 
Iran will have an industrial-sized military nuclear capability ready to go and with zero provision for delay, no matter how bad Iran's behavior is. Terrible, terrible situation that we are all placed in, and especially Israel. When I'm President, I will adopt a strategy that focuses on three things when it comes to Iran. First, we will stand up to Iran's aggressive push to destabilize and dominate the region. I love Israel. My administration will stand side by side with the Jewish people and Israel's leaders Together, we will stand up to the enemies like Iran, bent on destroying Israel and her people. My name is Donald Trump, and I'm a big fan of Israel. And frankly, a strong prime minister is a strong Israel. And you truly have a great prime minister. In Benjamin Netanyahu, there's nobody like him. He's a winner. He's highly respected. He's highly thought of by all. And people really do have great, great respect for what's happened in Israel. So vote for Benjamin. Terrific guy. Terrific leader. Great for Israel. I uh, know Donald Trump. Uh, I know him very well. Uh, and I, I think his attitude, his support for Israel is clear. He, he feels very warmly about the Jewish state, about the Jewish people, and about Jewish people. There's no question about that. And, and, and that's so powerful and so obvious. For God's sake, the, the, he has Jewish grandchildren. He has a Jewish daughter converted to Judaism. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, we say the, the boss ultimately uh, decides the policy. The spirit of a commander uh, permeates the troops. That's uh, our motto in the Israeli Defense Forces. And that's, I'm sure, true of, uh, of the U.S. presidency as well. Donald Trump is going to war for Israel. For Israel, the most incredible things are happening. Never before has a president been so incredibly pro-Israel. God's light is shining on America right now, and it's because Christians stood up and they voted in those polling booths, and also because of Donald Trump's just absolutely incredible stance for Israel. As far as Iran goes, uh, this is the single biggest state sponsor of terrorism in the world. Uh, it does no good to, uh, to ignore it. It does no good to dismiss it. The Obama administration failed to respond adequately to Tehran's malign actions, including weapons transfers, support for terrorism, and other violations of international norms. The Trump administration condemns such actions by Iran that undermine security, prosperity, and stability throughout and beyond the Middle East, and place, which places American lives at risk. President Trump has severely criticized the various agreements reached between Iran, the Obama administration, as well as the United Nations as being weak and ineffective. Instead of being thankful to the United States in these agreements, Iran is now feeling emboldened. As of today, we are officially putting Iran on notice. Thank you. We've become a third world country. So, the worst of all things has happened. We owe $20 trillion, and we're a mess. We haven't even started. 